What's up, guys? Hey, thanks again for joining me here today at the Brew City Garden. Uh, so what I'm doing today is uh, setting up the tomato bucket system, um, or at least I'm going to try to get it started here. I've got it already laid out, uh, which is a process uh, in itself. I've got 18 five-gallon buckets here, and uh, these are buckets that I just rescued uh, from a company that I used to work for. These buckets are food grade. Uh, they used to contain honey, uh, and they, the honey was made to make uh, uh, honey roasted um, nuts. So uh, I rescued these from the uh, what would have been the landfill, brought them home. I thought I could put them to much better use here in the Brew City Garden, and uh, we certainly are. So as you can see behind me, I've got the system set up, and I've got 18 buckets here, and each bucket has its own uh, drip emitter. So in the summertime when it gets very hot, um, I grow tomatoes exclu exclusively in these buckets. And tomatoes, um, you might know, are very, very thirsty plants. And if you're going to grow them in a five-gallon bucket, it's absolutely essential that you keep these things watered. Uh, and that's why I set up the drip irrigation, and I've got these on an automatic um, watering schedule. So even if I'm traveling, which I happen to do a lot, uh, I don't have to worry about it. These buckets get watered and, uh, you know, everything works out great. It's all a battery operated system. So unless my batteries die or for some reason the water stops flowing, uh, and if that's the case, we've got much bigger problems to worry about than my tomatoes. Uh, it, this just works out awesome. Uh, the other, the other thing you really have to worry about is making sure you keep up on the feeding, uh, because, uh, tomatoes are very hungry as well. Uh, but that's super easy. Nothing to it. But today I just wanted to show you what the setup is, and um, I've got a bunch of very tall uh, tomato transplants that are probably starting to get root bound. I've got to start tra transplanting these things into the buckets today. I might not get it all done today, but we at least got to get it started. Um, so again, the five gallon buckets, I just punched uh, several a quarter inch holes in the bottom for drainage. And what I'm using for a soil mix, is the uh, compost that I get from the municipal compost yard. And I have added um, to each five gallons of compost, I've added two liters of perlite and two liters of vermiculite. And what that's going to do is it's going to help open that compost up a little bit um, and make sure there's plenty of air in there for the, for the roots. But the uh, vermiculite also does a very good job of holding that water um, which, as you know, may know, in the, in the heat of the summer, it's very important to keep those uh, roots moist. So the, uh, the vermiculite will certainly help with that. And it just seems to work out real good. It's a nice mix. And uh, so far, so good. I've been using this system for five years now, about as long as I've been doing the straw bale gardening. And, uh, man, I get just a ton of tomatoes out of here. I mean, just an insane amount of tomatoes. Uh, so it's really cool. It works great. Uh, it keeps us stocked up with tomatoes and uh, tomato sauce and everything for the entire year uh, once I get it all processed and put up uh, for the winter time. All right, so I need to um, get the soil out of these buckets or enough soil out of these buckets to put my transplants in. And we're going to put the transplants, get it all packed in here. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. All right, guys, let's go. All right, so I pulled out my uh, little $8 kiddie pool uh, from the dollar store, and these things are really invaluable. They make great, um, like, raised bed planters, but uh, they also make great uh, mixing buckets. Uh, and that's what I use this one for exclusively. I've punched some holes in it, but it still works for its intended purpose. So what I'm going to do is take this five-gallon bucket of this uh, pre-mixed soil mix and just dump most of it out. And I'm just going to leave a few inches here in the bottom. And the reason I do that is because uh, you can see how um, tall these tomatoes are getting. It's pretty crazy. But anyway, um, so what I'll do is I take this out of the pot. I will set it down in here like so. I will remove all the leaves uh, up the stem. And of course, with tomatoes, you bury them deep. And then I'll just put this soil right back in there, water it in. And bam, I mean, uh, easy peasy, done just like that. So uh, it works out well. So 
I got little strings here that I tied to small stakes because these things were getting fairly leggy and didn't want to stand up as much as I would like it to. So I'll just cut that off of there. Squeeze the pot a little. Yeah, they're definitely starting to get root bound. So it is definitely time to get these guys in some soil. Just gonna cut these bottom leaves off. In fact, these have been in the pot so long that they're already developing suckers, which is something I definitely don't want. All right, so move that soil a little bit towards the edge. Get right deep down in there. You probably want at least an inch or two of soil underneath the plant, just so it's not sitting on the bottom of the bucket. Not that it'll make a huge difference, but uh, it will make a little bit of a difference. So I just want to put a little bit of soil in here just to keep the plant standing upright. That looks good. It's pretty much right where I want it. So I'll go ahead and grab my shovel here just to make this process go a little bit quicker. Because just like you, I am pressed for time, usually. And we're just going to bury this right up to the lip of the bucket. Maybe just slightly below the lip of the bucket. Being careful not to break the stem of the tomato. You know, these things are pretty hardy. These tomatoes, they're really actually really easy to grow. They can really take a beating. If I had any advice for growing tomatoes, it's going to be make sure you feed them and make sure you don't let them dry out. Because once you let them dry out, it's game over with these things. as much of that as I can in there but I can just dump that right in there not the most graceful way of doing it but it works so we're just gonna stick to it and that's it I will place this back over under the drip emitters uh, right now it's pretty cool outside and uh, we've been getting a lot of rain so uh, I've still got a few days to hook up the watering system uh, so no worries there this will be just fine. I will go ahead and water this in right now uh, just as a transplant. Um, this compost is a little moist but even so it's always a uh, good practice to just water these in as soon as you transplant them. You know just as a quick tip one thing you want to do uh, when you first turn your hose on uh, if it's been sitting out in the sun, you want to turn it on and just feel it. Let that hot water run out of there. You don't want to water your plants with that hot water because even on a cool day, if the sun's hitting it directly, you'd be surprised how hot that water can get. So we'll just let that run out until I start feeling that cool water again. And that's it right there. You don't want to scorch your plants with hot water by accident. And that should be good right there. Perfect. And really that's as simple as it is. Nothing difficult. Uh, it's just a matter of um, transplanting these tomatoes over and uh, also keeping track of what I put where. I've got a little list here made up, um, a little map if you will. And uh, really uh, pretty easy, pretty easy deal. All right, I got 17 more of these suckers to do. I guess I better get to work. 
All right, so I got all the tomatoes transplanted. Uh, it didn't take quite as long as I would have expected. And man, it's such a beautiful day. It's actually a little bit warm out here. I'm kind of sweating, uh, which I think is the first time this spring. So that's a good sign. I love summer. I don't mind the heat and I prefer it uh, over these brutal, brutal winters that we have here in Wisconsin. But anyway, I've got my 18 uh, tomatoes transplanted into my tomato bucket system. And uh, I still need to water these guys in. I'll get them watered in. They'll be fine uh, just like this through the weekend. Uh, make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to show you uh, how I set up the watering system and how I program it as well as the, uh, the uh, trellis, the cages that I use for them and uh, how I make those. So stick around. Uh, I will definitely cover all the ins and outs of the uh, tomato bucket garden. Hey guys, thanks again for joining me here today at the Bruce City Garden. Uh, I just love having you guys here and I love showing off the garden and teaching and doing what I love. It's just it's just a pleasure. It really is a lot of fun for me. And uh, I really love it when you guys stop by and leave comments. Uh, speaking of which, let me know what kind of tomatoes you guys are growing this year. I would love to know. And uh, what's your favorite? So far, my favorite is the Italian heirloom. Oh, it's a wonderful tomato. And uh, I'm hoping to uh, save some seeds uh, this fall and maybe I'll get some out to some sub subscribers, subscribers this fall. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Have an awesome day. We'll see you.